Hi Libra, this is Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and welcome to the channel. Uh, if you are a new viewer, um, please subscribe and hit that bell, then you'll be notified when uh, I go live or when new videos are loaded up. And welcome back to all my Cyber Angels and thank you very much for coming back and supporting this channel with your energy and with your likes and shares. Uh, it is greatly appreciated. And if you are new, you can become a cyber angel as well by joining us in the live sessions. You'll get your wings and then you'll be one of my cyber angels in the cyber family. The chat room is called the tea room and we love each other. I've got beautiful cyber angels, the respect, the friendliness, to the togetherness, the solidarity is awesome, and that's what makes this channel the best. Ha! I love it, and I love my beautiful viewers, Cyber Angels, of their gold Cyber Angels. And thank you very much for your likes and shares. Well, this is your um, 24th to the 1st of March reading, Libra, and let's get started. I'm using the en uh, Enchanted Dream Tarot and the mythic tech and the answer of the angels and the surrounding deck. Uh, if, uh, uh, for the uh, cyber angels and for the new viewers, there will be a little dot just around here. If you click on that, it's a white circle with an eye, um, then you, will be, you can uh, go and click on that and it will take you through to the website. There you can see the new uploads and then the, uh, the latest videos or whatever is on offer, like different readings. If you wish an extended reading and all the other readings you can get in uh, the super, uh, in the live chat, super chat and super stickers. And you can also skip the queue um, by doing a super chats. Okay, you can find all the information also below the video in the description box. So let's get started. Your first card is the um, Eight of Cups. You're fed up with the normal daily routine. You want something new. You want adventure. You want to leave and the, leave the old and the known behind. Well, don't throw any old shoes away before you start. Um, before you have new ones. So hold on to your hats. Let's see what this reading is all about and what you've done. Perhaps it might resonate with what you're busy with or your ideas. And if it doesn't, have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Then you have the five of wands. The five of wands means there is competition. There could be disagreements, but they're short-lived because it's also the card of competition and it's not the five of swords. That means arguments and disagreements, the war card. But this is really a friendly um, young men fighting over, uh, comp uh, competing against each other. Okay, so you might be competing with somebody um, on Monday the 24th Libra. Um, and it could be about a new start, a new job, a new place to live, new adventure or excitement. In a, uh, also for somebody's attention uh, for to, have to start a relationship with. Wow, that is exciting. Okay, then on midweek we have the Ace of Wands. What did I say? A new beginning. You are getting there, you're taking action. That could be a new job. That could be a new passion. Remember, passion doesn't last. Passion is only temporary. Uh, if you would like to make this passion, you might already have passion, but you might want this new start um, to become a fully fledged relationship. Uh, well, then you have to take action, my darling, and think logically how to go about it. What do you want? because you don't want to burn yourself out or the other, okay? So know your boundaries and, and I hope they know and let them know what your boundaries are and get to know their boundaries. So neither party will be burnt out. So it will sizzle out that, it, and, you know, passion does sizzle out. Love remains. Give it a chance. Give it a chance because you've got the four of ones 
and that means marriage. Marriage could be imminent because this relationship or this passion is built on proper foundations. And Libra, this could be with a Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo. So marriage is in Marriage is imminent, um, that is on the cards, but def if it isn't marriage, you could be uh, you could be invited to a wedding. There are celebrations at hand. When you go to this celebration, then you will be making new friends and meeting people, and they could be new business friends. They could be, they can be, become your partner. Um, as this is a marriage card, it could be a marriage between two people in business. So success in, is imminent and it will be built on proper foundations. It will last long. Okay, so it's a new beginning. So take action. What do you want? Do you want passion or do you want love and marriage? That is also a new beginning. Taking the next step in a relationship. Be open to whoever uh, you wish to spend your life with. And also be open and honest to yourself. On Friday, um, you have the Ten of Swords. Something has come to an end. Perhaps a friendship. That's why you wanted to move on to a new beginning. Perhaps this relationship or friendship or partnership did not work out and that is your wish that you wanted to work out but you might feel stabbed in the back by a partner or a, a friendship like i said and it could be somebody in business or in relationship and like i said passion doesn't last you have to talk you have to work things out and take action to work things out Oh, Libra, this could be with an Arian, this could be with a Sagittarian, or with a Leo. You have to keep an open mind, because you've also got the Two of Swords. Perhaps you had a closed mind, and they couldn't cope with you, because sometimes you procrastinate in making decisions, because you're always weighing things up. Try to... Talk about things um, with friends or uh, with your partner or your potential partner to know where they are at and what they wish. Then you know that and also let them know what you wish and that you want. If, you, if that's what you want, a permanent relationship for long term, make it clear. Well, no, people don't can't mind read, you know. That is why you are capable to communicate. You can communicate in many ways. You can communicate by talking. You can communicate by spending time with each other and holding hands and just feeling each other's energy. So, perhaps you, it, you know, perhaps it's somebody that gossiped about you and they were supposed to leave supposed to be your friend and they stabbed you in the back well that's the end of that friendship and you didn't see it coming so open up your eyes and get out of your mind perhaps it hasn't happened yet but perhaps with this warning you can be take off those blinkers and open your eyes and uh, come out of your mind and open your heart and open open your solar plex because usually these two um, swords are crossed at uh, uh, somebody's chest with a blindfold on in the traditional tarot. So that's why I say open your heart, open your solar plex, take off those blinkers or um, blindfold and then you can see it coming. If it doesn't feel quite right and you have uh, a feeling that something is bugging a friend, then ask communicate. You are an air sign after all. Stop weighing things up. So, there will there will be an ending and but there um, there will be a new beginning because you've got the ten of swords. That's the air signs. So there will be a new beginning. So this could be a new communication before it happens. 
it is it's or you are today it is the 21st so you've got a week's time to get this out in the open and to communicate you've got the gift of the gab you can do the walks or do the talk boom that is what i'm saying for you you can do the walks you can do the talks or do the walk or vice versa you can do the walk do the talk learn to communicate and stop being silent and in your head at the weekend we've got the king of swords that is you libra or it could be an other sign um but uh, it's um, you've got more fire signs here so it could be a, a, a fire sign sagittarius aries or a leo and now you've got swords coming uh, all over the place so if you don't want this friendship cut then take action like i said you can do the talk so do the walk and this could be with a gemini an other libra or an aquarium and you will uh, you could be getting news from a young person page of pentacles this could be about an investment that you did or this could be uh, because we've got the king of uh, swords here it could be about a legal matter an investment is legal because you have to sign documents to invest this could be about buying a house okay and um, talking about buying a house you could be moving house because you've got the knight of wands and you could or you could be going on holiday definitely you could also like i said meet up with a fire sign because you've got the ace of fire here and you've got the four of wands here which is fire which means partnerships and um moving home as well so if that's the issue at hand good luck listen to your intuition has your intuition been telling you to do the talk so do you you can do the the talk so do the walk don't hesitate to listen to your intuition all your ideas that come into your head when you're sitting quietly or meditating you've got the high priestess here and she is a sensitive lady but also mysterious you could be mysterious that's more or less the feeling that i'm getting that you are keeping things quiet i'm not saying behind or hiding things no you're mysterious there's something happening here uh, this new house you could have kept it quiet um to somebody that because you wanted to surprise them that you've bought a house buying a house and if you're together is a thing you do together and you need to communicate about that you could have had disagreements about that and that's why the partnership might break up if you don't do something about it i don't like to be pessimistic but that's the feeling i'm getting so from the answer from the angels is take action what did i say you can do the talk so do the walk take action boom okay the time has come to take action your angels are waiting for you to take the next step so that they can assist you along the path to your dreams do away with procrastination i said that word wow this is thank you angels and uncertainty let it become clear with all these thoughts come out of your head take off the blinkers in your heart you know in your heart you know what to do get going whether you're focused upon career relationships or some other topic the fulfillment of your wishes isn't going to just fall into your lap you must be actively focused on the per on the pursuit of what you want boom there you go libra the angels have said it and the cards have said it for me as well and i get the shivers when i said procrastination and the word procrastination comes into this cards details and i said take action boom fire okay 
well for the surrounding deck, you have sur surrender deck, I mean, surrender resentments. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards pos uh, positive situations in your life. If you didn't talk to your partner about moving or getting married and you wanted to keep it a surprise, you are wrong, Libra. You kept the ideas to yourself or you didn't communicate um, because you're too much up in your head. You have to communicate and stop holding on to your ideas alone or to resentments because you create resentments if you live in a world of I. You, if you are together, you should live in the world of us. So, listen to your heart and include the other person if you are um, uh, paired up with somebody and if not then learn from this reading because this is a clear and definite and precise boom wow me, uh, reading again this week. Uh, last time it was Virgo I think um, and I had six, more than 600 views about that because a message like this really comes in. And I do, even I, um, I go, wow. And I'm just stumped with this message and I do learn from the messages, even from different signs. I think this is an amazing message and we all can learn from this. Don't take it personally. If it doesn't resonate with you, then please look at your rising sign or your moon sign. I love you all and I think you're awesome. So, think about it. It's food for thought and this is the energy that is hanging around you. It is up to you to change the present or the future. You know what energy is around you. But be warned. You are warned, forewarned is forearmed. If there is a situation that you don't feel comfortable with or that you think somebody has gossiped about you or you haven't told somebody your plans, take action before your friendship or relationship breaks. This is awesome. Thank you, angels. And thank you for watching, viewers and cyber angels. I hope to meet you or see you back in the live sessions. Please share and like and thank you for doing that. It's greatly appreciated. Take care and be blessed.